happy. Hi there. That uh, makes me very sad. I don't care if the weeds are unhappy. They're not dying the way they're supposed to. Todd and Aaron, morning, noon thing. Sorry, um, I'm just bitter about the fact that after all of that work we did last weekend, and maybe you saw the video of me happily spraying all the weeds, they're fine. It's no, like they're nothing not. happened to them. They it's look like anemic. I sp- I sp- okay, I don't care if they have iron poor blood. I sprayed them with enough poison that they should have spontaneously You did combusted. it just right. You did it perfectly. Yeah, we did it at the there. perfect time. We are now into seven days of beautiful weather. They are being dehydrated as we it's speak. To be four days, four days, and they would be gone. Nothing. You're the only person I know who has weed killer with a battery wand that sprays for you because you know what? This is too much effort. It's incredibly satisfying, and he was very jealous when he saw the battery wand. That's all. I'm not going to say anything. Whatever. Um, uh, we should go. Did we see? Um, did we, we go to the roving cam? I don't know if we've been to the roving cam. I'm not sure if either. We, if we haven't, we should because it's really pretty weather oh. for the rest of the weekend. Brought to you by Brio Technologies, your experts in lighting, sound, oh. and video, Brio, audio, visual. We, we had our, our drone guy went out to Antelope Island, and uh, he took his drone because he's the drone guy. Monica's such a nut job. We're going to close the show with it, and there's just this shot of over the water, through the woods, to grandmother's house. We don't go. Um, the other big thing is the Sandy police officer. I haven't heard about this. Oh, he's a hugger. What's wrong with he's, that? He's a hugger. Well, okay, you, you remember when the Sandy police chief was suddenly put on, on leave and they were doing an investigation and the Sandy mayor just fired him. This right, week, right. Um, for what they said were improprieties towards his behavior in the office. So Kevin Thacker... Put out a that the hugger? statement, the, the fired Sandy police chief said, I'm a hugger. Hey, and if I offended you, I'm sorry, it was never my intent. I'm a hugger. A hugger. So, yeah, he was uh, fired who? over concerns of inappropriate and professional who? unprofessional behavior. Well, who was he and, hugging? Uh, well, apparently a lot of people. So... There was a lot of hugging, and he goes, so, looking back, I see I made a few mistakes as I learned, and as you all know, I'm a hugger, so, and, and, uh, really, according to, yeah, according, according to testimony, I guess, from around the office, there, there was an environment uh, that of actually hugginess. escalated to anxiety yeah. and, quote, fear, as yeah. I recall, so, so, there should have been a no-hug zone. I'm just not sure that I'm a hugger is really... A strong defense. It really isn't. No. Uh, I'm heartbroken, as, as many of you are. I've been waiting for this. Missoula, Montana. Yes. 35 years this has been going on, and it has now been canceled because now there is no testicle festival. Wow. That's been running longer than, like, Coachella or Burning Man. It's, wow. It's a long time. And, uh, for the testicle festival. And you know, you've been to a food festival before. Of you course, know, many. You've, you've been to like the pickle one or the the ham one. All the different kind of barbecue ones. Garlic ones, festival. Delightful. Wonderful. Uh, the testicle festival, obviously, what it sounds like, it is. Um, but evidently, they're a little wilder than uh, most of these I'm other ones. I'm thinking once you consume a Rocky Mountain oyster, life doesn't mean anything to you anymore. So it really who cares what you do. So the guy who's hosted this for 35 years, uh, Matt Powers, uh, he says, you know what, this is the last year. I want to be proud of how I make this living of mine. Now, the reason that he doesn't want to do it anymore is I can't even list. Uh, first of all, last year two people were killed, seven others that injured. Seems bad. Last year's festival, uh, uh, nudity, um, uh, bats were used. Uh, one guy was got on a shuttle and turned the wheel, so it flipped over. Another person died. There was lots of people who died with motorcycles bashing into each other. Okay, I'm thinking. Yeah, this is one of those ones you might want to just. But you would think put away. You would think that it wouldn't be crazy like that, that testicle festival. Oh, no, I I think that's a given. I think we all understand completely why that happened. I wonder who holds it next. Someone's going to pick it up. Uh, It's like Sturgis. I I guess you would have to, right? Yeah, it's like Sturgis, you know. Of course. Like you're on your bike and the chain slips, gentlemen. Remember? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, not me personally, but... You've told me stories. You were there. You would laugh. Okay. Because you always do. All right. Um, no, not like 
Sad. Information time. All right, let's go to Daisy. She's in the Gephardt Daily Newsroom. She is brought to you by Fink and McGregor Mortgage is Made Simple. You can go to fink-mcgregor.com for more information. By Brio Technologies, you can bring your business into, you know, this century with help from their audiovisual department at brioaudiovisual.com. And by the new Millennium Financial Group. Maybe you have no idea what is required for a retirement. You'd be amazed how many people don't. This is time to get us some free analysis from them. Utah'sFinancialPlanner.com. Daisy, my dear, what's going on? on today. Thank you, Todd and Aaron. Good morning, everyone. Here's what's making news on Thursday, April 26th on GebhardtDaily.com. Four LDS missionaries serving in the Utah Logan Mission were injured Wednesday in a car crash in Preston, Idaho, which left two elderly people in another vehicle dead. The accident Wednesday occurred in, on the, in the afternoon on Highway 89 near Preston, Idaho. According to the Idaho State Police, the elderly couple pulled their Jeep Cherokee in front of the vehicle, which carried the missionaries. All four missionaries survived the crash, but the driver and passenger of the other vehicle died at the scene. The LDS Church released a statement expressing sorrow for the crash victims and their families. Sam Granato, member of the Salt Lake County Council, a longtime Utah restaurateur, has died after a two-year bout with cancer. The Granato family confirmed in the 4th District Councilman's passing in a statement released to the media Wednesday afternoon. Granado had served on the Salt Lake County Council since 2013. He previously ran for the U.S. Senate against Mike Lee. In addition to his life in politics, Granado owned and successfully operated a chain of Italian delis and distributed fine foods to numerous restaurants throughout Utah. And a man was arrested in Moab after police found 13 pounds of marijuana in his trailer. Moab City Police Chief Jim Winder said officers responded to the area of 300 South 100 East on a report of a possible illegal, illegal camper on April 20th, just before 10.40 p.m. Once on scene, they ran into the trailer's owner, identified as 26-year-old Evan Alexander Brown from Ontario, Canada. Winder, Winder said officials could smell freshly harvested weed inside the camper, where they ultimately found the 13-pound Stash. Brown has been charged with possession of marijuana with intent to distribute and possession of paraphernalia. And time now for a look at the Wasatch Front weather brought to you by Brio Technologies, Utah's premier audiovisual specialists, and by our shiny new sponsors at Magic Wash, home of the long lasting ceramic car wash, with an outlet in South Ogden and a brand new facility on Antelope Drive in Layton. We have another fantastic forecast as we head into the weekend with highs in the 70s and 80s. That's the warmest it's been since last September. The sunshine is expected to last until Sunday when we'll see an increased chance of thunderstorms, especially in the higher elevations. That's it for now. For more news and weather 24-7, go to GephardtDaily.com. Todd and Aaron, back to you. Buy a house? Set. Should I rent? Should I buy? Yeah, should am I, I rent, set? I am I ready? With Millennial Financial Group, they will explain all of this stuff to you, and then you can get a better idea of what you're going to need for your retirement, because there's a lot of different questions they'll ask you to make you figure it out. Like, okay, how do you want to live after your retirement? Do you have kids that you need to put through college? Why did you bury money in the backyard <laughs> underneath the fairy garden? This is Not a, that I did. Oh, it's all good questions, and they'll do a free analysis for you just to get you started, and then you can call in and meet with them. Just go to utahsfinancialplanner.com for right. more information. Tell me something good time. This is a really good tell me something good. Are you ready? <clears throat> Usually start off tragic, and as you one, know. And this one was. Tiffany, Hang with us. Tiffany Hall was caught in a, a cycle of substance abuse. So this mm -hmm. is down in California, and like a lot of people with substance abuse, you hit rock bottom. You do a lot of things that you never think you would do. Right. And she was doing some of those things. And uh, she met Lieutenant Jim Foster. Uh, he was arresting her on drug charges in Long Beach. And uh, he sat with her and he said, okay, well, let's talk through this. What did he arrest her for? Uh, drug charges. Okay. And uh, a couple of other things. And he said, why do you think you're doing this? Let's go through it. And this is one of the first of several times that they kind of interacted with each other. So he stopped and, and uh, did this. 
and it, it was really interesting. Uh, he became part of my life, and he, instead of taking her to jail, he would take her to a treatment house. He would call in a favor with a friend and get mm -hmm. her into a, a program. And as Todd has mentioned before, and I think we all know, it takes more than one try. Sometimes, a lot of times sometimes it does. Sometimes it, it takes, takes nine times. And it was really sweet because Officer Foster said, well, she was a unique personality. She mm. had lots of humor. She had a great story to tell. And I knew that she had a very tough exterior because of her life experiences and the drug right. use and some of the things that she did to right. get drugs. But I could tell she was more than that. Eventually, um, it took... The treatment house he got her into worked, and she got herself back together. She got a job. Then she went back to college. And then five years later, this was so cool, she had called the police department, and he had retired by then. And he, she said, I'm, I'm trying to find Detective Foster. And they said, why? And she explained the situation. She right. says, I'm having my college graduation, and I was hoping he could come. And so she presented the invitation, and he said, I would not miss this for the world. And so... He said, the biggest joy of my professional career is from time to time having contact with people who found their way out of horrible circumstances and into success. So she was able to stand up at her graduation and present him with a, a plaque she had made, a handmade plaque with like a little circle of pictures that kind of depicted her life and what had happened to her. Nice. And this guy who's like the toughest, meanest looking dude in the world is crying like a baby. It was just such a good story. I just love the fact that he would, not, he would not give up on her. And that, in the end, was the thing she said that changed it for her. That was very cool. All I right. hate it when we both give the clip because nobody can take it. Because nobody like, can pick this up is like women's, women's jobs is to make men cry. You know, it's like I'm watching Armageddon again. You know, Bruce Willis talking to his daughter. Baby Never going to see each other again. Yeah, that one. Cry. Um, I got to tell you, Christopher's, it's been so fun working with Christopher's. This has been over a year, and, you know, we just figured uh, we got to give you something for watching. And so what we do is every single day we have you go ahead and just do, drop a mention, I like steak, I like Christopher's Prime Steakhouse and Grill, and we have a, uh, we have a table for four, and we'll take care of the tab. All right, well, here's the deal. It's going to Sandy Lynn Boswell today. Sandy Lynn Boswell, congratulations. You've just won dinner for four to Christopher's. Very good. We are very happy for you. We're doing it a little early this week. We had to throw in a good winner, so I thought I would grab her now. So congratulations. I'll be contacting you, and you're on your way to Christopher's. Coming up next, it's Aaron and Daisy telling you where to go, <laughs> as always. I mean, mm -hmm. for the weekend. Mm -hmm. For the weekend. It's coming mm -hmm. up next. We're brought to you by Fink and McGregor, mortgages made simple. Just head to fink-mcgregor.com, take four minutes to answer some questions, and you'll get a great idea about mortgages that you're eligible for. And by Stay Built Wellness Clinic, go get a personalized health analysis. This is the time to get back in shape, feel better, feel younger, and without a ton of new medications at stayfitwellnessclinic.com. Here I am. Wait, you didn't run in with the Fitbit, and I'm a little disappointed. Oh, I've got, the... I've got my Fitbit working again. I didn't, oh. I didn't have it for a few days because the oh. battery ran out. That is really bad. But I'm so happy. Usually, I have you, it. you like run in though. You start like scuffing I know, your I feet kinda, and getting some electrical charge going. And... I kind of cruised in this morning. Well, it's, it's your natural coolness. It's a cruisy kind of day. I feel this is like. this is Daisy's last weekend update for another week because she is going to England. I am so excited for you, and this is for your birthday, right? Yes, my birthday's next Thursday, and so we're going on a little birthday trip, and I'm just a this tiny so little cool. bit excited. Oh, just, just a, a tiny, tiny little bit. bit. Yeah, I can imagine. So, so you're flying out Sunday. Uh, now, do you, do you stay with your dad? What do you guys do? Where do we you go? Are, we're staying in a hotel just near to my dad, because mm -hmm. um, that's a little bit more convenient Sometimes for him. Sometimes it's really nice to have your own place. Yeah. I don't care how much you love your family, and we all do. So it's just nice to have a place to go It's in. the hotel that has the cocktail cart. Do you remember <gasps> that last yes! year? 5 p.m. cocktail cart. They knock on your door, and they're like, Here's the cocktail cup. Why? Would you like a cocktail? Why don't we all have this? just like that. That is so... You're so, going to send us a small video of that, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And you know the other thing that I booked that's going to be so fun? Um, afternoon tea and burlesque. I have never heard of that no, combination. No, I know. But it sounds awesome. I know. Because Jay and I were talking about the things that we haven't done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. this, this will be his sixth visit oh, to wow. England. Oh, wow. Okay. And we were like, what haven't we done? And, and we both enjoy burlesque. 
And so um, we thought we'd do that. And so and in London, looking, it's old school. I mean, yeah. this is one of the places where that yeah. the art form it really actually yes. created as an art form versus like, yeah, it's something, yeah. Yeah. So it's elegant and beautiful and interesting. And, and so I was Googling, and there's an event that is, you have afternoon tea, champagne, so you're eating your little scones, your little sandwiches, and then you, you watch a burlesque show. Do you get to wear a hat and gloves? Because it's I tea. think if you wish to, yeah. And the queen will probably be there. Oh, I'm sure of it. Just hanging out. Out, you know that is so freaking so that's cool fun. we're doing that on our last day that's a combination so, you would never think of but that's like I so know. awesome and we're going down to bath to visit my sisters and just i'm just gonna have the a, ocean yeah is the ocean yeah. the ocean's still butt cold this time of year isn't yeah, it? oh yeah you couldn't swim but um mm. yeah i think we are gonna go to the seaside for a day as well oh man that's so like awesome. half an hour from london all right will so. you please 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 send a lot of pictures so we can post them because everyone was jealous last year and i'll miss you guys i you know not as fun, but... no once that drink cart comes around the room oh you're not yeah gonna i'll miss you till us. five o'clock every day and then after that <laughs> I'll just be partying. <laughs> okay, so we are now reeling into the summer season. Do you remember last summer when we like it, it was like a plethora, oh, yeah. like there were too many things to talk mm-hmm. about? All of a sudden. Yeah, we're edging yeah. back into that yeah. scene now. So this is pretty cool. Some mm-hmm. amazing stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I like this in Ogden just because I thought it was so interesting. They call it the Collective Style Fashion Show. And basically they've brought together a big, fat, gigantic group of designers and artists and models, and they're doing all kinds of different classes, and they've got local artisans there. Now, the nice thing is this. It, the admittance is free. You can see mm-hmm. the fashion shows and go through everything and shop if you like, but they have a lot of different uh, classes, too, about making jewelry or, um, you know, makeup or all kinds of different things, oh, too. Oh, how fun. Or how to, there was one that I thought was really cool about how to design your own hat. Oh, I love it. Which I was it. like, I totally want to go do that one. But I love the idea that it's accessible. Anyone can go, but they're yeah. saying if you want to do some special stuff, the classes are on average about 25 bucks. And things like that are so good because, I mean, it's, it. you know, we, I don't know about you, but, like, I tend to get stuck in a rut with, like, totally. you know, you wear the same makeup, you wear the same kind of clothes. And That's the trouble with doing a video podcast. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah you do. Yeah, you wore that yesterday. <laughs> and it's helpful just to have, you know, someone go, oh, well, you know, maybe think about these colors. Yeah, or... switch it up. I that know. sounds fantastic. Isn't that fun? Um, and it's in Ogden? Yes. Yeah, so it's this Saturday. It's 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., so there's plenty of time to get there either direction. Um, and it's also on Friday as well um, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., so that part's a little short. But it's um, 23, 7 one Kiesel Ave, and uh, I just thought that was such a cool thing. And I'll support free? the address again. That's yeah, free. free admission. Yeah, yeah. The second one I did, and this is maybe because people are going to start thinking I'm a drunk, but I just thought this was so cute. Uh, two Tour de Bruta. It's also okay. this Saturday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Library Square, downtown Salt Lake City, uh-huh. um, and it's the ninth annual. It combines cyclists of all abilities, Utah's finest local craft breweries, in a pub crawl format. So you basically, the tour writers <laughs> pick up their root booklets, you paddle, pedal, 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 yeah. go to your different breweries, and then end up in the courtyard of Beer Bar Bar X with live music and food. Now, the thing I do love, especially about this, aside from the fact that they're cycling and beer, because why wouldn't we? Right. Um, that uh, they're giving a portion of the proceeds to the National Ability Center, which is oh. my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite charity. The reason why I'm getting verklempt. Um, they work with children of all kinds of special needs mm-hmm. and abilities. And this is someone from whom, who's paralyzed from the waist down to a child who's heavily impacted by autism. Mm-hmm. And they give them drug drastically ridiculously reduced rates to teach them how to ski how to snowboard how to water ski how to ride horses yeah and literally there's people who come in from all across the country to try to follow the model because it's so beautiful wow so that's fantastic is that perfect or what just don't get a dui because you can get a dui on a bike you can get a dui on a bike (laughs) take some time have a little food yeah (laughs) don't feel like you gotta fill up at the first that sounds awesome though have fun that's Saturday too yeah so two perfect events I think that's going to be a lot of fun yeah, you of course yeah. always come up with the I've best stuff I've got a couple and one of them's just for you because I know you like your fairies um, but I this, do so the first one is um, have you heard of Samba Fogo you have talked about them before and I've never had a chance to see them and they're so cute yeah sounding. I'm going with my mom on Saturday so it's tonight tomorrow and Saturday mm-hmm. at the Rose Wagner um, the, the larger theater in mm-hmm. there. And it's, uh, so it's Afro-Brazilian oh, dancing and um, music. And they're, they're the ones that do the Samba Queen every year. They do like a, oh, a competition man. to be Samba Queen, which I think, I think I'll get one year. I think, I, I think I'm close. I, I learned Samba for a, for a charity event, Todd and <gasps> I were doing, and it was, 
the most pitiful performance you've ever seen. My Can you partner, show me a bit? No. No? Because okay. my, my, my partner afterwards says, if you do this again next year, will you practice really hard? And I'm like, yeah, I won't do it again. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so. it looks quite hard. I know, but it's so cool, it? yeah. right? Yeah, so it's, so it's um, I guess, a, a cast of 35. So you've got your dancers, wow. and then you've got a drum line, um, a <gasps> string quintet, a horn oh, line. And, and my mom emailed me, and she's like, we have to go. And I'm like... Count me in. Oh, I just love the pageantry so, of it. And it yeah. doesn't even matter if you don't know how to dance. You're going to be awesome dancing oh, that, right? Oh, yeah. And the big, big feathery headdresses. And I do love that amazing. stuff. Amazing. So that's How's the first fun? thing. Now, where and is that at again? That's at the Rose Wagner. Okay. And um, what time? Tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday at 7.30. Okay. Perfect. Um, and then the other one, you may have been to this, but the Gardner Village Woodland Fairy Festival. I know they have done this throughout the summer, and I've never had a chance to take Mm -hmm. Zoe. She will lose it. So tell me more. Yeah, so it just started, and then it goes through the summer. And um, so basically, I think you just kind of look around Gardner Village, and there's like little tiny houses and little scenes and little fairies, real, obviously. Oh, of course. That's Um, a given. And then, so, so you know, there's installations here and there, and then there's different activities. There's, um, you know, face painting, and I think every Saturday there's a fairy parade. That was the one I've one been trying o'clock. to take Zoe yeah, to. Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, and, fun. and, you know, just different activities and stuff. Um, and admission to Gardner Village is free, it's and I'm free. sure some of the activities do cost. But, yeah, But yeah. what a great thing to do. Yeah, I think, I mean, face painting sure. starts at five bucks or whatever. I'm sure. But Gardner Village, so I've never never been in the summertime really either. no we uh-huh. went to the um that crazy witch festival oh, that's which right was insane and epic um an epic one of the things that's cool there they do is they actually have a working um animal rescue that's right there and you can go in and you can really? pet the animals and you can buy seed to feed them but they have everything from like llamas once spat at me so i was sure it was a llama uh-huh. and mm-hmm. they have all kinds of different horses and pigs and every kind of creature and you can do pony rides and stuff but the best thing about it is it's it's a rescue it's a working oh, rescue oh that's so cool so these are all animals that have been saved from some really sad awful fate and it makes it even mm. more i don't know poignant or yeah. emotional and, yeah but it's really fun to go in there you're like uh, take my money i would like to give yeah. you more of it because oh, it's so yeah. cool yeah. You know? And then and then Jay said that the restaurant there is really good. Mm-hmm. I haven't eaten there, but you know, you can make a day of it. You I know. know. Take those there and walk around. Would you and... wear your wings into the restaurant? Oh, oh yeah. I you oh wings. yeah. I'd wear my full fairy garb into the restaurant, wouldn't you? See, you are so tiny and adorable. You would be an awesome fairy. <laughs> I could, you would rock being a fairy. I'm not, I'm sorry, you would. You're petite and dainty and you're all the cool things that a fairy should be. And <laughs> I, would, I would be like, I would be like the, the troll that drags you guys oh, around. Oh, sure. sure. She'd be an amazing fairy. That's no, a very nice compliment. You're totally though. a fairy. You're totally I a fairy I was princess. a fairy once for the um, Pride Parade. There was, <gasps> we did a, we did How a cute. fairy themed Derby girl skate, so we had that all our perfection. derby. Yeah, and I had a I had a brunch at my apartment, and I know you and Todd have talked about this, but I was picking glitter out of my rug and everywhere else for approximately two years after all the derby girls come swarming in oh. with their glittery fairy wings. There's some glitter you just cannot vacuum up anymore. Oh my gosh, no. So no. you sparkled for a long freaking time. Yeah, but mm-hmm. it was fun. So, um, so yeah, that's, um, I guess... It begins this weekend, then. Yeah, yeah, and it's every day, 10 till 8. So Yay, that's so cool. Super fun. Lots going on this weekend. All right. Thank you so much. This is We want well, pictures next yeah. week, th- well, yes. week after next. I mean, Definitely. Tons. We can do entertainment, but I'll talk about what you could do if you were with me in London. So basically, you're just going to taunt us relentlessly. So uh-huh. Just, that's great. That's, yeah. That's good. <laughs> okay, now that we know that Daisy has no morals whatsoever mm-hmm. and she's evil, we'll tell you next what's coming and going to Netflix in May. Stay with us. <laughs> So We're brought to you by Stay Fit Wellness Clinic. If you're tired of feeling sick and tired, it's time to make an appointment with Dr. Bowden for a new holistic health plan to make you feel better. Lose weight, sleep well at stayfitwellnessclinic.com. And by Magic Wash with two locations in South Ogden and Layton. Come in for the ceramic car wash that keeps your car cleaner longer by sheeting all the dirt and the water off your nice shiny finish. All right, welcome back, and uh, you guys did a fun job. That's a lot of stuff to do. I realize we haven't done that for like two weeks. I've really missed Daisy. I'm just glad she's on online with the, the, the glitter hatred. I really <laughs> am. 
No, I seriously really the, am. The, the love affair with glitter eventually ends. It really oh. does because it just doesn't go away. It's horrible. I know. Um, All right. Well, we should go to Hollywood Connection. We got a big fancy opening for this. Do we? Yeah. I don't know if it's built there. Da, it is. Da, da, brought to you by da, da, da. Connect Heating and Air. UtahHeatingAndCooling.com. They have a $39 special right now to tune up your air conditioner, which could save you hundreds of dollars in energy bills this year. Give them a call, or you can go to UtahHeatingAndCooling.com. I want to know who's responsible for this. It happened in my home, and I am the victim of it. You get Netflix, right? And you got Zoe, and you got Mom, and you got Dad. Plus, you got Father. And then there's Zachy. And then you have Older Guy. Three, because every time I set it up, one of the kids goes in and, and starts, up your starts watching cartoons and fairy gardens and horses, oh, Scarlight or whatever his name is, and then the fighting dragons and, and the training of a dragon, and that's all I get now. And it's like I have to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. My identity has been taken away. Now I have to be, I can't use father, dad, or older guy. So now I have to use something. To come you up. have to come up with a fake name like Maurice. King. Lord of the house. <laughs> Shut up. You're so cute. What's coming in May? <laughs> Oh, you know, this is already out, but I'm still going to push for Lost in Space. If you haven't seen this yet, it doesn't even matter if you saw the original Lost in Space. It is so good. Danger Will Robinson. Oh, Danger. Oh, no, it is so good. I mean, it's so good that I cannot, the production value is so good in it. I can't believe that it's a series. But it's amazing. You're really going to love it. Um, there were a couple that I thought were really good. Uh, Disney Pixar's Coco is coming to Netflix this month, which is a big deal. Um, and they also have a couple that are just stupid, but I love Mama them. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Like, Hel uh, like Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay. Oh, I'm that's sorry, funny. that's just for me. And uh, High School Musical 3, Senior Year. Mamma Mia. Shrek comes Excuse on Excuse me, first. I would like some recognition for my sensitivity. Yeah. Mamma Mia is Okay, excellent. good. All right. That's no, it all. Is, and when is it coming? What? Uh, 16th. Okay. On May 4th, Kong King of the Apes Season 2 shows up. Oh, no. And... Why are you saying oh no? Oh, no. Oh. And you love this one. My next guest needs no introduction with David Letterman. Oh, the show he's been doing. Oh my gosh! It's back on. He's got Tina. I gotta tell time. you. I gotta tell you. Um, the the his show and the Seinfeld show, getting coffee comedians. in cars. Yeah, get, comedians getting coffee, coffee in, in cars, cars. Um, has been so much fun. Will Ferrell. He's had um. All the big names. All everybody. the big names. And so um, uh, Jay Leno and uh, just all these huge people and uh, Jim Gaffigan. So basically he picks him up. He picks a car that kind of awesome. reminds him of this person. He did Kramer. And he picks him up. They drive around for a little bit and then they go have coffee. And it, their, their discussion is so interesting on... Then they go shopping usually. They drop, drop into a shop, you know, and people are like, What? Um, but it's so interesting to hear some of these people because you don't always get a chance to um, just see them as normal people. Mm -hmm. And it's it's still entertaining, but I really like that show. And Seinfeld, it's like, <laughs> he did, uh, he did uh, Barack Obama. And so they went and they got a car. Oh, it was man. a vet. And they went to the White House, and then he got in the car, and he... And, Barack was driving, and he drove up to the gate and goes, we, we just got to go, and, and, and the guy's, I'm sorry, sir, you can't do that. Oh. It's, it's, That's it's, so sad. It's so so uh, Obama looks at him, and they're eating in the basement of the White House in the cafeteria, right? And, uh, and uh, Obama was mentioning something, and he goes, are you still doing stand-up? You know, and so Phil goes, are you still doing speeches? Ooh, rare. It, it, was, it was funny. One. Anyway, oh, that's yeah, so... Very, very cool. May 11th, Bill Nye Saves the World, Season 3. May 14th, Phantom of the Opera. What are the other ones you've got? Um, I think that's enough. I've already blurred my brain. Dixie, uh, uh, Disney, Pixar, Coco. Mm -hmm. That's a great show. And what's the date on that? It's May 29th. Yeah. So you have okay. to wait the whole month, but it's still coming. So that's it's so idea. hard. It's so hard to... Uh, quick, think back when there were three stations. There was four, but PBS didn't count. Because it was... Uh, um, now you have shows you can't keep track of at all. 
I ever. think it's wonderful. All right, let's go to Daisy. She's in the Gephardt Daily Newsroom, and she's brought to you by New Millennium Financial Group. Here's the deal. If you don't know how to plan your retirement, fortunately, these guys do, and you can get a free analysis. Just go to utahsfinancialplanner.com and get started. And their Stay Fit Wellness Clinic. Do you know that you can actually feel a thousand times better than you do now? You can lose weight. You can feel better. You can sleep better, and you can do it without tons and tons of medications. What you need is a free blood analysis. I mean, not a free, but a blood analysis from the people at Stay Fit Wellness Clinic. And by Think of McGregor, mortgage is made simple. Just go to think-mcgregor.com and they will get you started on all kinds of mortgage options, usually all done within one month and not tens of thousands of dollars like you pay everybody else. Daisy, my dear, what's going on today? arrested the so-called Golden State Killer more than 40 years after the start of a decade-long rape and killing spree throughout the state. Sacramento County Sheriff's officials arrested Joseph James D'Angelo on Tuesday and booked him into the county jail on two counts of murder. Investigators credit a DNA match for leading them to D'Angelo. Investigators previously linked 12 deaths and 45 rapes to a single perpetrator active between 1976 and 1986. The Golden State Killer, also known as the East Area Rapist, Original Night Stalker, and the Diamond Knot Killer, is also suspected of burglarizing hundreds of residences. Rear Admiral Ronnie Jackson has withdrawn as President Donald Trump's nominee to lead the Department of Veterans Affairs. Jackson made the announcement in a statement Thursday morning. His nomination had been derailed by allegations about Jackson's professional conduct. In a statement announcing his withdrawal, Jackson slammed allegations as, quote, completely false and fabricated. And doctors at a Houston hospital more moved former President George H.W. Bush out of intensive care, though he continues to undergo treatment for a blood infection. The 93-year-old was admitted to Houston Methodist Hospital on Sunday morning, just one day after attending the funeral for Barbara Bush, his wife of 73 years. And time now for a look at your Wasatch Front weather brought to you by Brio Technologies, Utah's number one audiovisual specialists, and by Magic Wash, home of the long-lasting ceramic car wash with an outlet in South Ogden and a brand new state-of-the-art facility on Antelope Drive in Layton. We have another fantastic forecast in the offing. Expect highs in the 70s and 80s as we head into the weekend. That's the warmest temps we've seen since last September. The sunshine is expected to last until Sunday when we'll see an increased chance of thunderstorms, especially in the higher elevations. That's it for now. For more news from across the nation and around the world, go to getpartdaily.com 24-7. Todd and Aaron, back to you. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you, my dear Daisy. What are you staring at? Um, you're you're really angry yesterday about Fleetwood Mac. I'm not angry. No, it's you were, you my were favorite irate. mom line. It's not that I'm mad. You I'm were, just disappointed. You were irate. Well, no, it's like Fleetwood Mac just announced their North American tour. They haven't right. been here to Salt Lake City for a bazillion nine years. Plus, they're coming with their new people. So yeah, and, they've, at, they've added new artists. Yeah, and the, it's interesting. First of all, Lindsey Buckingham, they more or less apparently fired him from the band, which I'm like, haven't you been together for like 40 years? Um, it was a, they had a big blow up at Music Cares, which was a big uh, ceremony honoring them in January, and I guess he did a massive blowout and just like screw you, I'm not touring. It'll be my decision. I'm in charge. And they went, okay, you're fired. <laughs> they went. And the, so they went ahead and announced the you know the tour. It's interesting. They do have two new people coming with them. Uh, the first is Mike Campbell. He actually used to tour with Mike Petty. Okay. And of course, Mike Petty's passed away. Right. Uh, Tom Petty, sorry, forgive me. Right. And which is really sad because he talks about it at the press conference. Like, yeah, he says it's, it's so hard losing him, but yeah. this is an honor. And also Neil Finn. Now, 80s music fans will remember this. Neil Finn is from Crowded House. And I adore him. Oh, that's him. funny. I just love him. Don't right. say it's over. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So they'll be joining too. But here's the part that pisses me off. They're going to places like Tulsa, Oklahoma and Lincoln, Nebraska. If you're from Lincoln or Tulsa, we apologize. I'm very happy for you Look because there's four people. But th this is what they're doing. They're circling us, but they're not coming here. So you can see them in Las Vegas on November 30th, Oakland on November 25th, Phoenix November 28th, Denver December 3rd. You know, this is everywhere but here. This is a this is a, something that started Jerks. This is something that started years ago. 
and they would place the concert someplace. Like um, people, they do, do a thing at the Delta Center, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then what the, what would happen is they knew that they're going to draw people from three states mm -hmm, regionally. And so yeah. this is how it works now. And the people traveling to a concert is much more popular than, than it used to be. Well, we flew up to Seattle to see Eddie Izzard. So, we I did. mean, it's true. If you're a fanatic, you'll go anywhere. But it's so. still, but it was just the fact that they even circled us like we're going everywhere but to It's not like it's Janet Jackson. Who just keeps canceling. Just keeps canceling on us. Instead of showing up. So, so like it's almost it's the same. Like she hates us. All right, coming up next, this has got to be the most bizarre yeah, I don't. apartment fire to the I point problem. where I'm like, are you serious? I have a problem with this. No, it, it's coming up in just a minute. Just Stay a minute. With this. I have a trouble with this. Yep. We're brought to you by Connect Heating and Air. Go to utahheatingandcooling.com for their $39 air conditioner tune-up special. Some care now could make the difference in hundreds of dollars of energy bills this summer. And by New Millennium Financial Group. Take your feeble financial health back to a more robust position with a consult with New Millennium Financial Group. They're offering a complimentary financial analysis to get you started at utahsfinancialplanner.com. All right, uh, welcome back. Spontaneous combustion. We've heard of it before, You've and seen I've always it in, thought it was sort of amazing. Saw it in movies where people would combust. Uh, that wasn't that amazing. That was sort of depressing. Spontaneously, and then, you know, they figure out what happened. Um, Explain this to I me. I have seen it before. Uh, You've seen spontaneous combustion? Yes. How? Uh, in barns in Maine. Oh, how they, so? The, they, the hay gets... They would put the, the hay away too wet, and they'd pack it too tight in the bales. And then when you put it up there, I mean, we used to go goof around um, in the winter, and we'd go up and we'd take a couple bales out and go in there, and it's like 70 degrees. Really? And you could, like, camp out, hang out, don't light a fire, and the, is it, it's so hot, even in the middle of winter. Now, it's, is it, it's bacteria. forgive me for my stupidness, so it's a chemical composition of the bacteria in it's the It's a bacteria hay. And, and that grows and stuff, and, and I've been to a couple barn fires where all of a sudden it's just like, eh, you're... Oof barns on fire that's a problem yeah but this is a little different this and i don't understand it totally okay, okay? Well, explain it because it's pretty right. in saint george so it is hot in saint george True. let's remember that of course uh and and basically what happened is uh the the firemen came and there there's a, a house totally engulfed in flames it's an apartment house right yeah and so they they uh you know they put it out a total mess as you can see total mess and they they put it out and the investigators come in at that point, and they go, okay, where's the hot spot? Where did it start? And they can break it down to, oh, it's an electrical box, or it's this, or it's that. How about a planter on the front porch? All right, you're going to have to explain that. It's the same thing as what they're talking about, is, is that, okay, would you read the last paragraph, though, because I'm, I'm not hearing it correctly. While investigating the fire, Hunt spoke to the homeowner who said he noticed smoke emanating from a planting pot that contained peat moss located on the front porch and then doused it with water before removing it from the porch. So where did the fire come from? Was Had it, the fire already spread? I don't know. It's a it's a problem with writing the story. But Probably. anyway, the point being... It was being is, of the two fire the, crews from two different firehouses had to come I know, and show it. And it, take it turned it out. out to be a planter's. Which is a weird. peat moss planter. Can you imagine fire out of a little barbecue on your front porch? Can you um, seriously get spontaneous combustion from peat moss? Maybe. Uh, so, huh. so uh, our, okay. our our guy, whose name will not be mentioned, uh, he is a trained. Uh, We've talked about him all the time. We've even shown him on the show. Well, I'm not We've gonna, used his name. Many I'm gonna times. hide his identity because he's secret. He's a drone guy. So anyway, he's been out with his drone, and he does a lot of, you know, commercial stuff and junk like that. And then uh, he said, uh, hey, I got something for you, and we're going to end the show with it, as a matter of fact. And uh, you guys have uh, a great uh, today, Friday, and then the rest of the weekend. Beautiful weather for seven days, by the way. On Monday, we're going to give you the chance to win a catered brunch from Christopher's for your office of 20 people. Yeah, you will be the favorite for, like, ever. So join us on the drone on our way to Antelope Island. We'll see, see you later. Friday.